Right, hello everybody, welcome to Days of Clawpon versus Top Rats. Um, yes, Rodders. Um, he's won four, lost one, so maybe he knows what he's doing. And uh, no Fuffles, it was the old one, sorry, it was the old one. The, it, was the, it was the old one, it wasn't the new one, so you weren't, use, you weren't using this one. So I deleted it. Um, right, so he's got an edge for edge for edge for storm vermin and a rogue and twelve men. <sighs> I haven't really got anything. Could get an extra apple. Quite like scumming something here because Skaven are hard, aren't they? Yeah, the rogue has got a good chance of fucking us up. So I don't hate scumming the uh scumming the A pole. Where's the A pole? Uh, I could scum that. Still left with forty afterwards. That's a cute idea, Necro Impotence, but that would imply A ever knocking anybody over. And B, not getting horribly outbashed by an agility team. So, <laughs> I think we know what what obviously has to happen. <laughs> it's got to be an apple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, no need for the Anarian police. Um, uh, to be fair, if I had an extra 30k, I would have fully scummed a wizard. But, um... But, wasn't able to, uh... To annoy an Aryan. He's defending, yeah. So he's done the right thing. He's got the best chance to long turn. I guess it's, it's semi tricky for him to get anything on a strength four carrier. Hopefully, two touchdowns from him this game, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Get block on him. Like, he's pretty shit without block, to be honest. Maybe should try and score on uh, one of the five SPP beastmen. doesn't it? Actually, he, he's good at hitting gutters, kind of, isn't he, with three dice? Maybe we shouldn't have him as the ball carrier. P. Diddy, yeah. Oh, that's nice of him, isn't it? Yep, there you go, standard. Well, if you're a big fan of the stream, why don't you just fucking not use your perfect defence, you fucking cheating bastard? <laughs> Only joking, of course. <laughs> Only joking. The rats did indeed choose to defend, yes. Oh, God, only a fucking push. Can't blitz the roger now. I guess I could, right? We could put the assist there and blitz the rogue. But then it makes making blockless blocks first. Fuck it. Oh, actually, if I get um, I'll follow up, I can't get it. Can't do that anymore. Yeah, get a pal. No, it's not going to Oh, 
What an absolute clusterfuck this is. Get him. Go on, son. Got the power halfway there. Ooh, not dead. <laughs> good good shout good shout our yeti there's a curfew do you know what I really like I really like the uh, the Jimmy Fantastic mobile that I made I'll post it there look so you can if you care about um, trading paints. My little eye racing thing. I'm pretty happy with that. I really like that. It's kind of combining all of my favourite, all of my favourite liveries in one. I've done there. Combined. Well, not not so much on that one actually. It'll be clearer on the Ferrari when that's done. But I've kind of combined all of my favourite liveries into one. Thanks. Trading pants. <laughs> I mean, it is a comedy vehicle. If you've seen me attempt to drive. It's a good question, Pablo. I'd, I prefer blue and white. You can do AI races for me. And that's what, that's what I've done as well, yeah. Actually, uh, actually created um, wrestlers like the the JFW wrestlers have been created. In there. It's pretty cool. I'm going to three dice in. So just blitz him because it frees him up. Three D him and move over here. That might be an idea, right? Defenseless gutter, three dice with block. Oh yes, <laughs> fucking get banged on, pushed him all over the place. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Got one. <laughs> Flip me, guys. <laughs> Need to get the concussion protocol in for that. Got to run out. Whew. <laughs> yeah, JF Entertainment. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that square is really, uh, he's really going to struggle being in that square instead of the previous square. <laughs> the worst thing is I didn't even push him towards the surf, did I? I just pushed him towards the middle, which doesn't really do anything <laughs> at all. <laughs> Yeah, 
people, you know, people like to say, you know, praise up pals and injuries, but people don't realise how devastating a good push is. That's that's where the real good play lies, in making those crucial pushes. I mean, it's kind of true though, right? Because I fucked up against Elliot when I should have thought about what happens when I roll the push, and then I should have moved the other beast on first, even though I would have wanted to. Like it would have been better to have blitzed with a different beast man, but I should have moved into assist first, then a push would have been good enough and I would have been alright. So I just messed myself up. A <laughs> good push. Sometimes no, not better than a Kaz. No? Can it? Can a push ever be better than a Kaz? It can, a push can be better than a Kaz. Yeah, it can be, can't it? Yeah, a push can be better than a Kaz if you want that, if you want that square fill for some reason. Well, like when you, when you want a one turn, for instance. When you want a one turn, a push is better than a Kaz, right? So, yeah. Sometimes a push can be better than a Kaz. <laughs> Genuinely. Um... Right, do I uh, blitz the rogue? <laughs> I'm thinking probably yes. But then what if? Could three dice him instead and just put in two more guys? There. This is a pretty good place to cage, isn't it, actually, here? Especially with these stuns. And then that makes the roger really isolated on that rookie. Did not mighty blow the piss out of him. Tragically. He can go he can go here to take the roger further away. Devastating Dave, the turntable slave. <laughs> Three stuns, like, that's a, the annoying thing about stuns is sometimes they're, like, crucial. And sometimes they just seem completely pointless, don't they? Like, I guess this makes his next turn, these three stuns make his next turn hard, I guess. So while there's no real payoff this turn to all these stuns, there should be a payoff. Like, there's no payoff on my turn to the stuns, but I guess there should be a payoff next turn to the stuns. I had not heard that fear me, but uh, I don't. I don't need praise anyway, to be honest. He's gonna do the one D blitz. <laughs> he scored. <laughs> do you reroll a one D without block made? No. <laughs> Get in. Oh, what a glorious result. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's let's make safe moves first. So he can go up there, which means he can go to here. Oh, 
Chaque formation permet d'avancer sans trop de risques. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. Je sais pas vendre. Get fucked! He's got no answer for this pushing, has he? Absolutely incredible pushing. Violent pushing. Three dice, block mighty blow on a gutter. Whew. I don't want to put him there because then it's easier for him to surf him, isn't it? Like two turns, whereas here he's got to do one, two, like. He's got to push him to there, then to there, and then off. Whereas if I go there, it reduces the turn time to serve. <laughs> I did, Bakers, yeah. So sue me. Can't even say that as a joke in, in, in America, because they will sue you. That's another thing about... Uh, that's another thing about uh, America, isn't it? The uh, very litigious society, aren't they? No, it's not. It's not good early, is it? Really, but I mean, it, it's a good thing to have. So. He hasn't blitzed with a roger. Can he get him up? He can. The looker dog. The absolute looker dog gets the roger up. Boo. But got quite forward against rats, which is good, isn't it? That's the main thing, actually getting forward against the little bastards. <laughs> yeah, I guess, baby, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've got all of that. They're welcome to keep. Alright, let's go. For the exposed fella. This is a quad skull, it's absolutely devastating, isn't it? So. Use big brain plays to stop that because it could have just freed his gutter and hit the ball, right? So I don't wanna, don't wanna allow that. Fucking safe moves first here. Reading my sheet and everything. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! <laughs> what the fuck? God, I'm so shit at Blood Bowl. Fantastic shit at this. You could just 1D for an uphill at the ball. Like, it's fucking easy. I can't even stop it because he was right in the middle of the cage. So I made it safer, but also made it more risky. School roller, yeah. Sometimes pushes though. The five pushes, <laughs> the five two dice block pushes against Elliot was <laughs> into a fill one and nine. <laughs> it was pretty special. Oh, yeah, you can just two do you know, on a pill, can't he? Yeah. Yeah, you just two do you into an uphill. So uh, maybe I should have gone one behind, right? So that a push would, would have been fine. That no, still wouldn't have been fine. Oh yeah, he can roll pals. Two out of two. None out of six, and there's two out of two. Oh my god, and you get to the AV break. And the removal. Fuck off. <laughs> god damn it.
Good. Oh, he's chunted me. He's chunted me. Alright, two TZs. He could have just done the blitz with it, him, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. He could have just done the blitz with the Storm Vermin and that would have been a straight up knockdown. And then you'd have had the gutter for the recovery. Which would have been better. He's fucking chanted me. Hey. <laughs> Time for a 3D. <laughs> Just fuck off. Irrelevant block. Classic irrelevant block while thinking of what to do. I'm gonna make this ball. Good. Woo! Knockdown! I can move one guy first. So I think I move this guy here. Now I've already got two there, fuck it, just leave it. Go for the pickup. Yep. Outrageous. Now he can get in here, can't he? Which is better to have a stronger boy in. I guess don't want one DB there. <laughs> yeah, three Ds. I mean, you've got to do three Ds, haven't you? When you've got strength four against gutters. Gotta make as many 3D. It's funny how how much I've been able to 3D strength threes, but you should be trying to 3D as good as much as possible. It's quite reasonable. Now in 3D, the Dudley Death Drop in it. What will happen? <laughs> yeah, hopefully Master Zen. Yeah, the strength up already is nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, I do love the 3D. That's my favourite too. Oh, well, there you go. There's another removal. I guess we don't have all this. Up on the first one was fair enough. Because he's getting up this turn as well, so he's doing something. Big 4 plus this, isn't it? I guess I should have pushed this guy here. So next turn I could have hit him again and uh, cancelled out that. Oh, he's doing the GFI shit. Oh, lucky bastard. 
Yeah, Legion Doom one was good, but I still my my favourite still with three D. T B H. But yeah, what was it called? The Legion of Doom one? I can't remember. Doomsday Device was it? Yeah, the crowds yell and get the tables. It's pretty good. Oh, look at this! He gets the one D power. To use a reroll here. Oh, I didn't realize this guy was down, that's annoying. Blitz is where I want to stand the ball carrier. God damn it. Hey, he didn't skull out. Get up there. Mighty Blow being great again. Yeah, it worked all right when it was pretty scary, the one day not being able to put the ball in the cage first, but worked out all right in the end and should be able to clear whatever he, whatever he bases with here. Hub dub, base, base, base. Square of lateral movement, I believe. Yeah. an annoyingly good move from him. This guy's free to do a blitz though, so he can come in to cancel this. If I power him, then I blitz him and score. And if I push him, I don't know what I'm doing. If I push him, then I'm blitzing him and blocking him. Oh, you 
you fucking shitting me? Needed a person. All right. No two DBs without a reroll. <laughs> oh, did he have wrestle? Oh, was an iron idiot. <laughs> um, it might not have been okay. It might not have been okay. It might have been okay. I mean, not necessarily, probably though, yeah. Now that you say it, probably. <laughs> yeah, Joe, you know, at least this, this team has got wrecked. That's the beauty of receiving first, isn't it? Being able to really, really cause some damage on them for the second half. <laughs> if I go one forward, the uh, frenzy's too dangerous. The frenzy's probably too dangerous anyway, right? Like, I hate it when you've got two back. That's what PTK did, and I just fucking hate it. But then if you go one forward, then it's no good as well. Fucking jugs right August too good, isn't it? At least this way he needs an extra an extra push, so fuck it. Do it like this. So he's got a blitz with him and then push him twice. But then he might as well just blitz him anyway and get him two pushes off there. I don't know, because then he takes him out. No, it's still better to push him. I don't know why you want to just leave it on this fuck I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Eighty-five percent effort. Who gives a shit? Both use an apple. No, I've used an apple. We've both still got an apple. I've used one of mine. Still got twelve men. Still got twelve men. All those three dice with the mighty blow did absolutely nothing. Well, no, there were there were some stuns which made the drive easier. To be fair. So it paid off in the scoreline, didn't it? If not, if not in a direct removals. Is he not even trying the one turn here? Is he just going to surf that guy with a roger? Looks like it. Looks like he's not even trying at the moment. Oh, imagine having a Jugs Rover and not even trying for the one turn. I guess he might be trying really badly, but it looks like he's hoping for a riot. Wonderfully irrelevant, brilliant coaching there. Yeah, he's just doing the surf. Well, that's okay, isn't it? <laughs> take a take a surf over a touchdown. Oh, 
didn't even die yet. Oh man, cheeky one day. Powered up the <laughs> the armor roll by making it a one day. <laughs> didn't pay off. <laughs> Amazing. Warrior's not dead. Right. So we've got it in the second half with 11 men. That's good. That's a win, isn't it? 1 0 up with 11 men. That is about as good as we could have hoped against fucking broken, disgusting. Skaven. <laughs> I've just realised he said love the stream, didn't he? Big fan of the stream. So I'll tell you what, if you're watching, yes, Rodders, you should definitely learn how to do one-turners because that is uh, that is not good, not being able to do one-turners as Skaven. I don't like Skaven because they are powerful obviously, like they're obviously powerful, but they are also dicey and I feel like no matter what you do, you end up with like key roles being important. Which on the one hand it's 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 easy for your ego to just say, Oh well look, if I'd made that one D if that one D hadn't been a skull out of one or whatever. But also, I just like, I don't like that it's always going to come down to those moments. Whereas if you play Bash, if you play Bash, then you've got, Bash are more of the sum of all the terms, I think. I think that's the, I think that's the thing, right? I think, I think Bash is more the sum of every turn. Whereas Elves and Skaven are more one critical turn. So while the dice can obviously decide it over multiple turns... I feel like it's dicier and just feels worse having the game decided over over uh, you know over the over the moments and obviously not completely but just more. Ah, he's watching the here rats. Yeah, yeah. One turning is a big, big, big thing when you when you got movement nine for sure. Like it should be a big thing if you movement seven. To be fair, movement seven. It's like. Movement 7 adds 4 gives you a decent shot at it. When you've got a jugged roger, then uh, the, and the setups against the one turn pretty much die. <laughs> that's true, Necropotence, but that, that's what, that, I guess that's what I was trying to say. I tried to say it the other day when after I lost to Wood Elves who, who made their leaps and pals. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't just bitter. It was like, you know, I feel like... I do feel like it's bash games are more the sum of all of the turns. So just the fact that it becomes more the sum of the turns means that there's more dice, which means there's less variance, isn't there? Yeah, bash gets to roll more dice basically, like and more positioning as well. It is the sum total of the positioning, isn't it? Whereas you can play, you know, chunter or or anybody who else who plays Skaven. Or Elia, uh, not Elia, well, yeah, Elia as well. Inarian with his Wood Elves, you know. You can play every turn perfectly, and then you can make one mistake and just lose. Like, have a good chance to lose for one mistake. Like Caprian as well with the Vampires, right? Uh, you can make one mistake and have a really good chance to lose. Or, like, roll one bad turn of dice and have a really good chance to lose. Or they can roll one good turn of dice and you've got a really good chance to lose. Whereas if you're playing Bash... It's it's less in one turn then, isn't it? It's more like every every turn's moves matter more, and that one mistake is much less likely to lose you the game. 
or one turn of good dice Glorious. or whatever. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Instant aggro Let's see him. some bashing then. <laughs> Thank you very much, Black Goat, for staying fantastic for two months. Glorious. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, at the moment, he's the... Uh, He's the bash team and the agility team almost because we've both got a mighty blow. We've both got similar. I mean, I guess I've got more strength. But um, yeah, half halfway to that be your pregnancy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodness for China. Eh? Jimmy, do you miss for China? For China? For China? For China? <laughs> right, it's gonna go in. Go in hard here. Go in hard for China. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Thanks twice up. <laughs> Oh yeah. Played a lot of strength and started watching Chunter your suggestion I thought I'd try and... Ah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> Balls, Mr. Nice. <laughs> I was going to say let's hope for a one in nine, but he's got blood jug juggernaut anyway, hasn't he? Wouldn't it have even mattered if he'd one in nine? If he doesn't. Alright, both, both apples use on power apples anyway, really trying to win. Or get a, trying to get a draw as well. He's only got three gutters, yeah. Didn't get to remove them despite the three Ds with my draw. Jim Shard. Yeah, the one turn is the bit is the, is definitely the biggest thing because it's 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 got a decent chance to come up. And it's like, uh, it's pretty basic really, like it's pretty easy once you put any effort into learning it. As much as it blew my mind the first time it happened against me. <laughs> like, and it completely blew my mind. Um, Glorious. No, but in I the internet age, in it's not hard to find I'm out what to do, I think. And I will defend. Fumble, fumble. I will defend. Guess. Goliath Glorious, thank you very much for gifting that sub to Necro Impotence. <laughs> thank you very much, Glorious. Two stuns, but at least they're not KOs. Nipples. <laughs> Double one, no. A classic hook for a double one scrap. <laughs> Nitro, don't be afraid of the for China. <laughs> Nitro. <laughs> Thanks twice, hot. <laughs> Necros for China. God, that sounded like worse then. <laughs> it was a cut. <laughs> oh god, I can't surf, can I? That's tragic. Can hit the ball though. One, two. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, geophyte, geophyte. Safe moves first. Of course, it's a fucking cunting push. And a fucking another one. Now this one has to be a power to hit the ball. Hey. For China, 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 for China. You lose, you you eat a tattoo. Thanks. I've got to hit it, haven't I? I'm breaking my rule here of never ball sack. Never go for the ball sack, that's why, it obviously fails. Didn't do the safe moves first, could have moved that guy over. Absolute disaster. Why did I fucking try and go for the ball sack? <sighs> Idiotic. I've got it written on a bit of paper, don't go for the ball sack. Never ball sack. Rule number four. But he should have moved, shouldn't he? He should have. What, there's no reason him not moving. He could have blocked him and then moved him over as well. But I thought I need the reroll for the GFIs. I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have cared about the fucking ball sack. Should move these guys first. And if I use the reroll, then don't go for the Always ball sack. Always ball sack after safe move for China. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Fuck recovery. Also, a pow there could have gone in the crowd, right? So I wanted somebody for recovery, but I shouldn't have done. Not when they were sort of position. That's a reroll wasted. Now I've just got to try and get him to score before, you know, turn 16. <laughs> yeah, for China, that's... <laughs> That's that's the idea behind the for China. <laughs> oh, I got greedy with that ball sack. Greedy ball sack's not good. Maybe I should have just blocked him with the mic with a block and then moved him. But definitely should have moved him over. No excuse for not moving him over there first. Definitely an argument for moving him. It would be nice if he'd won in nine, wouldn't it? This is hittable at the moment. Oh, there's a one in nine. Reroll gone. Beautiful. Down to one reroll. Go for the win, rack coach. GSI, that was, was not the wrong way of going. <laughs> that was definitely the wrong way of going. Because I guess the push direction is good, but making two GFIs instead of maybe one. I'm pretty sure it was wrong. Do I blitz the gutter? I'll block him first. Blitz the gutter, blitz the uh, rogue, I was thinking. How do I just base people? I guess if this is a pal, then blitz the rogue. And if it's a push, one, two, three, four, five, GFI to serve. Take a power. 
Hey. Go for the win, Rat Coach. I mean, the thing is, he might get the win. Like, <laughs> normally you're quite happy when people go for the win, but the problem with Skaven is they might bloody get the win, right? And they. block and the other one. Get the guy who can move further in to do something. This might be enough to give us some turns back to score. And at least he's only got one reroll. Top Rat is a good name, isn't it? To be fair. <laughs> that the rogue can only block which is scary with juggernaut isn't it so hopefully can stop him stalling another turn rogue is going to be relatively ineffective now. Big three plus this, isn't it? Can't really afford to re roll it. One re roll left, so. Didn't stand that guy up, interesting. He can GFI at the end. Hey, really wanted to GFI with him at the end. I guess maybe I should have just moved him up and not GFI'd. That would have been an option, wouldn't it? But still got four down here for his four, so... Not going to be super easy for him to stall. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, alpacas are like llamas, aren't they? Um, alopecia is hair loss. I don't have it. I, I mean, I have lost some hair, but it's not. It's not as. I still look better than everyone else who streams Blood Bowl. Um, <laughs> um, rats. Um, I, it's a problem with the green screen, basically. If I can sort that out, I'll, uh, I'll get it sorted. Right, same self. Four turns is doable, isn't it, with two rerolls? Extra reroll. Three rerolls now. Lovely. That means we're rerolling this pick up 100%. And uh, punching rats as well. Lovely. Miller Joe doesn't stream anymore, so it's alright. And Russ doesn't stream anymore either. Thankfully, the sexiest Blue Bowl streamers have stopped so that uh, I can win by default. Hey. Oh, that even opens up the uh, Blitz on the. The Blitz on the Roger. Amazing. An actual cars with chaos? <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> hey. Oh, I didn't even need to re-roll the pickup. Oh, I could have gone in there, that would have been one square further forward as well. I guess with three turns left there's no reason to get as far forward as possible, but still, might as well have done. Might as well defend against rat bullshit as well. Rat bullshittery. <laughs> Sorry, Calcium. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Calcium. I just, I just forgot. I was. It's just that, you know. It, uh, to be fair, to be fair, Calcium. I just said number one for myself, and then, <laughs> and then it was, it was our Yeti, which meant Murloc Joe. I just said, I just said it for a joke. That was number one. And then, and then Merlock Joe, and, and then obviously I remember Russ, not you know, and then it was because Merlock Joe didn't do it anymore, and then Russ didn't do it anymore. But yeah, of course, Kelsey, you're the benchmark for blood ball sexiness. <laughs> There's probably some other ones, isn't there? There probably are handsome people who play blood ball. I don't know, but um. <laughs> People have got different... I, mean, I guess some people are unarguably good-looking, aren't they? Although there's, like, a lot of taste involved, some uh, some people are just, like... Nobody can call, like, Liz Hurley ugly, can they? Well, I mean, probably now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> God, J5. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, hot stuff. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I can't count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I'd have to GFI to hit with a warrior. But I've got three turns. Now I'm blitzing there and going through the middle now. Right. The question is, can we clear? If I only had gone forward that extra square last turn, can clear him. And can probably uh, put loads of stuff 
in other places. Right, he's going to go here. So we need one there and one there. And two here as well. So he can go in front. And then he can go to there. And he can go here. Come GFI with him. And GFI with him. <sighs> oh, so just double GFI with him. One, two, three, four, five. Double GFI with him, yeah. <laughs> no double GFI then. I still got to do it though. Should have moved someone up here first. I'm a dick. He should have been up there first in case of that. If he if he had been stood there I could have made the extra GFI. Because I moved him up first. But I wanted to move him here and then I could have fouled the rogue. I was a bit greedy really. Assuming that I wouldn't roll a one. Or a double one. Plus so I should have moved him there just in case I rolled a one I guess. Double one. So yeah, I should have moved him up there. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> oh my god, Gobby Monster. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, you, you joke about that with calcium, but that really is your only option when Wanger decides to do it. <laughs> See, because the, the funny thing is, the funny thing is with people like that, because I've got, I've, got I've got a real life buddy who's very much like calcium. He's a karate expert. He was nearly on the England team. He was basically politics denied him, denied him getting on the England team for karate. And uh, all he can do, like, you know, in, in a kind of, <laughs> in, a, in a horseplay scenario, all he can do is just punch somebody really hard, can't he, until they stop doing stuff. He can just punch and kick them. Whereas, <laughs> whereas if, if Wang is mauling you, there's nothing you can really do against it. <laughs> you know? It's horrible. It's a horrible feeling. <laughs> <laughs> he's not he's not just gonna fucking punch his best mate in the throat, is he? <laughs> so he's just gotta he's just gotta let he's just gotta let Wanger dominate him every time. <laughs> oh big wild animal. Where's his blitz coming then if that wasn't his blitz? Is he gonna cage dive with a gun? No, oh, he was gonna go for the uphill, but I've, I've double, I've doubled, I've doubled it. So this is still a dodge in. I did the right thing. I doubled him. This is still a four plus dodge in.
gonna run out of time. Oh baby, maybe. No. Wow. <laughs> so no blitz was good. <laughs> But he did get away with uh, moving all these last second moves. It's a nice move, isn't it? Yes, J5, yeah. But I mean it's alright, isn't it? I mean it can be it can be good. It's not totally without value. Finally knocked over a player with a three dice block. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Hello Zenai! Oh dear. Yeah, certainly Johnny Five. All skills are well. Every skill or advancement is better than not having it, isn't it? <laughs> like literally, if you got all of the worst skills in the game and had like a multi-block, shadowing, uh, diving catch, pass block player or whatever, they're still going to be better than a rookie. Now, obviously, not going to be worth their TV, and they're, they're going to be nowhere near as worth somebody who's taken good skills. But they are still going to be better than a rookie, aren't they? <laughs> Dream player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he is going to be just straight up better than a rookie. Not You wouldn't want to build him like that, and he would be not worth his TV, but he is better than a rookie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't forget thick skull. <laughs> yeah, thick skull. You could have six crap skills. You know, if you've got six crap skills, including thick skull, thanks. They're still, but you, like you know, Rick Stroyer, who had thick skull, was better than if he didn't have thick skull. Like he just is better, isn't he? He's just clearly just better. He's strictly well, not strictly better. He, if you don't think of the cost, he's strictly better because he has a thing that you otherwise don't have. And this is the thing that always I don't don't know whether you should say confuses or whatever, but this is what all the beginners get wrong, isn't it? Because there's some value in every skill, they think that um, crap things aren't crap when they are clearly crap. <laughs> Yeah, it is better. Yeah, just I mean it's clearly better, right? It is clearly better. Do I just need a push on him? No. I just need a push on the gutter. Lucky I only need a push. <laughs> oh, Bien vu ça. Tout est dans l'intimidation. 
C'était une de mes spécialités quand je jouais encore. Some brutal gym pals there to finish the match off. <laughs> Bats block, hopefully, for the Beastman. Happy days. <laughs> Some cheeky gym pals. Yeah, plus strength would be alright, wouldn't it? I've had a strength 5 goat before and I, uh. <laughs> yeah. I sacked him because he wasn't TV efficient. <laughs> <laughs> Which, looking back, I kind of wished I hadn't, because the Strength 5 Beastman was pretty special, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly, like, I mean, I might try it now, I might try a great stream will be me rolling dice off camera. Um, hey, Femia gets his level up to 8, very nice. That was a good MVP, 50 blocks, so I guess he should work on not getting out blocked so badly. <laughs> Um, it's obviously tougher, isn't it? I mean, I was pretty much all mansing him right from the start with extra strength and block and mighty blow, so I was able to get lots of blocks off. I don't know what the answer is, but you should try and find it. <laughs> um, right, and this one could go right, Fameer could go mighty blow, right, because he is on 8. Um, so yeah, he is going to go mighty blow. And then he can get he can get claw afterwards, and then piling on, and then block. So we've got the risky blitz if we want it. And firstborn can just be can just be boring and reliable now. Strength four and blocks good enough. He can there's no rush to level him further. Um, so now I guess Famia can become the ball carrier and try and speed his way to claw pom. And uh, yeah. Right, 5, 2, 1, not terrible. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.